What's going on, man? Hey, man. It's your, it's your boy. All right. Y'all already know who I am. For those who don't, I'm Tyler. Nice to meet you. All right. And today we have a little sole purpose of this video, okay? All right. And the sole purpose of this video, okay, is for those who do not know what I wish I knew or known whenever I was at a young age, you know, 18 or 16, basically, okay? So, what I wish I knew was, is that they're saying this thing called credit, okay? There's this thing called credit, okay? And most people are like, what's credit, you know? Like, what is credit? Like, is credit like what we used to get in school? Because they don't teach you this credit thing, at least was I when I was in school. If they've been teaching it now, hey, props, props, man, props. But, man, in this video, we're going to be talking about this credit thing, okay? And then basically how it affects most people, okay? So, when you're basically not 18, basically, you can't get a credit card, okay? I mean, you can become an authorized user when you're 16, so to basically do that, okay? When you become an authorized user, do that, okay? You're going to become an authorized user, okay? Once you become an authorized user... For those 16, so three years, all the way till you're 18, you're going to want to basically, uh, you know, uh, be an authorized user, you know, go to the pump, you know, you know, keep your balance, you know, your credit utilization down low, okay? Below 30% is the best, okay? If you keep it at 20, you're doing, you're doing perfect. You're doing pretty solid, okay? But, um... Once you turn 18 and you're an authorized user on someone else's credit card or account, basically what you want to do is your credit's going to be iffy, you know? It's going to be iffy, all right? So you're going to want to apply for a secured credit card, okay? And what that basically is, is what it is, is it's a credit card. So if you put 1000 down, your credit line is going to be 1000 You can spend up to $100 and you're basically using only 10%. Okay, now you want to keep this below 30%. So if you're spending $300 on a $1,000 secured credit card, you're basically using already 30% and that's not good. Okay, you want to keep it below that. Okay, so 30% is borderline, man, borderline. Okay, and then you're going to want to keep your balances low on this because it, for one, it's, you know, not required, but it's not only the best thing to do, but it's also the only thing you should do. Okay. So you're going to keep it low, just put your Netflix subscription on it, and you're young, so you're probably going to already have someone that has Netflix, okay? Like a family member or a friend, okay? What most people do. So you're going to want to, you know, you're going to be 16, so you're going to have a car, right? So basically, you're going to want to, don't do what these other people are doing. They only put like five in at a time. In this day and age, that's going to get you the next pump, okay? Or they only put 20 in. No, okay? I see if you have a car that only runs off premium, okay, only put $20 in, okay? But you have a credit card, okay? So it's not even your money until you have to pay it back, okay? So fill up your car to the max so you got your this week's gas, okay, or this, this next two weeks' gas, okay? And you're going to pay that off on time, okay? You're not going to pay it off before. You're either going to pay it on time, right, or you're going to basically pay it, you know, to where you are, you know, up to date with your account, you're going to pay the minimum. You're going to, so let me run that again. You're either going to pay the minimum or you're going to pay it in full on time. Okay. If you're going to pay it late, pay it on full. Don't pay the minimum late. They're going to, that's going to show up bad. Okay. And other than that, man, other than that, uh, you're basically going to want to, you you know, build up your credit and you're going to be doing that because you're going to be keeping your balances low payment history you know you already got 30 percent then you already got another 35 so you're probably you know you're already more than halfway there you know just don't miss your payments because that's going to be your payment history and that's like a big factor that's like a hundred percent of your uh you know that's like 90 that's a good percent of your credit okay let's just say that okay 
So once your credit's gotten good, okay, you know, it's going to be in around six to seven hundreds because that's going to be fair to good. It's not going to be excellent. You want your credit to be excellent. And why would you want to say, oh, your, ex your, your credit's going to be, want to be excellent? Because for one, this day and age, okay, your money's not gold, okay? And what I mean by that, money's not gold, okay? That means it doesn't, it loses value, okay? So if your money loses value, you want to use someone else's money, which is who is that money? That's the, that's the bank's money. You want to be using the bank's money, and then you want to have your money cash, okay? And then pay the, money, the, you know, the bank's money back, you know, because it's insured by the FDIC, you know? So basically what that is, is basically you're going to want to be... Ooh, ooh, that was... That was hot. But anyway, like I was saying, you're going to basically want to be doing this, y'all. And I'm giving y'all the free sauce, the secret ingredient to the sauce. Nobody wants to give this to y'all. But y'all are going to know now that I'm giving y'all this this, this, this knowledge that I didn't know. You know what I mean? I'd be like where a 30-year-old would be at when I'm a 20-year-old. You know what I mean? I'd be 10 years or 10 steps ahead, okay? Basically, you're going to apply for a... Uh, sec uh, unsecured credit card after you've done applied for the secured credit card unsecured credit card or secured credit card you're gonna apply for an un one and okay and what y'all what is he getting with this where's what was he get what's he what's he talking about what I'm talking about is is once you've already done applied for a uh, uh, a secured one you're gonna go for an unsecured one now the unsecured one is where okay whatever your credit limit was for that secured one where you put the down payment down for your, uh, you know, your little, so they can get their money back just in case you doesn't, you don't pay it out and you max it out, which you don't want to do. You do not want to do that, all right? What they're basically going to want you to do, bro, is you're, you're going to, you're, what I'm basically telling you to do, and this is going to help you out in the long run, is you're going to basically apply for that, you know, secured, the unsecured one, okay? And whatever your lim they limit they give you, you're going to use only thir up to 30% up to it, no more, okay? And by the time this, you start doing this over uh, several months, it's going to be, this could be a long journey, okay? But it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier, I'm telling you. You're going to be able to afford, uh, you know, all these nice Hellcats, all these nice C7s, Corvettes, basically, at like uh, 25, 20 years old, bro. If you do it right in the next, from 16 to 20, in the next four years, dude, you're going to be fucking balling like a 24-year-old, okay? I'm telling you now. After you done did this, man, you're basically going to have, use 30%, not even 30% of that secured and unsecured credit card. You're going to apply for a business loan, and you're going to be your own boss, too, and that's how you can afford all these things, so you're going to have good credit, you're going to have good business credit. You're going to have all these things, man, and it's going to be nice, man. Okay? You're going to start something that's going to be like a restaurant. Whatever. So you know how they told y'all y'all can be anything that y'all want to be? Okay? That is true. It's not all bogus and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for, you know, using that language, but I'm not because I'm Tyler. Okay? This is how I'm, I'm going to give y'all the secret ingredient to the sauce. Okay? smoking on a cigar man hey man but anyway if y'all need more let me know i can give y'all plenty of more man but you know that's plenty right there man whatever you want to do if you want to run run your own restaurant do the restaurant thing open your own business do not be oh i like restaurants okay i'm gonna work for somebody be your own boss work for yourself it's gonna play play out in the long run okay Okay, there was a famous philosopher, okay, and they're a billionaire, okay? They are rich, okay? They basically said, if you don't find a way to make money in your sleep, and you don't make money working for somebody else in your sleep, okay? This doesn't happen. You clock in, you clock out, you go home, you do your business on your, two to, on your weekend, on your two days off, okay? Not how you do it, man. Remember how I said when that personal and business was two different things your personal credit is your own credit and your business credit is your business credit your personal credit could be shit bad auto loan bad mortgage whatever you know your business loan is when you go to the bank and say hey i want a business loan and not an auto loan not a personal loan you want a business loan this business loan 
is you're either going to fail or you're not. It just depends on what you like and what you think is going to work, okay? Trucking is a billion dollar, no, it's actually a one trillion dollar business, actually. Facts. It's a trillion dollar business, and basically, you can go for whatever you want, man. Whatever you your passion is, man. If it's YouTube, okay. Buy a stock. You'll own a part of YouTube. Do stocks. Have people use your money for stocks under a certain contract or whatever. You sue them for whatever they all they got. It just goes into certain things, man. I'm telling you. Make sure y'all give this video a like if y'all go ahead and thought this information was helpful to the slightest. All right? Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. It's down here below on your phone, man. Subscribe, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit that notification bell. All my videos are unedited, real raw proof of me just telling y'all the straight facts and the secret ingredients to the sauce, just what it is, all right? If other than that, man, I'm cooling, I'm relaxing. Y'all go ahead and have y'all a good day. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. And I'm out, man.